The stage is literally being set for the first presidential debate of 2012. President Barack Obama and Republican challenger Mitt Romney will face off Wednesday night at the University of Denver. Governor Romney really has the onus to uh, show some strength because most of the polls in the battleground states in the past three weeks have shown him falling behind the president. The most recent AP analysis shows the president would win at least 271 electoral votes if the election were held now, enough to put him in office for a second term. Polls show Obama with a steady lead in many of the nine states where the candidates are competing most fiercely. On Sunday, Romney running mate Paul Ryan shot down the need for a breakthrough in the first presidential debate. Both sides are playing a big expectation game going into the first of three meetings between Romney and Obama. I know folks in the media are speculating already on who's going to have the best zingers. I don't know about that, you know. The, uh, who's going to put the most points on the board? I, uh, no, no, Governor Romney, he's, he's a good debater. I'm just okay. It really doesn't matter what expectations are. All that matters is how uh, viewers perceive the president and Governor Romney uh, doing when they're on stage. Romney has spent at least eight days over the last month preparing for the debates. Both he and Obama have limited public appearances in recent days to give them more time to get ready. AP political writer David Espo says Romney clearly helped himself with his debate performances during the primaries. In the fall, it's harder to make a draw a straight line between one candidate doing very well and another one doing very poorly. Obviously, gaffes are going to matter if there are any. But without a game-changing moment, Romney's uphill battle to defeat the president may not gain any traction. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.